Hey guys, this is the Dicting Arts here, and I'm bringing you guys my fifth tips and tricks video. And this tips and tricks will be teaching you guys how to create a blood or a dripping text effect, which is particularly good on blood themes and blood designs in backgrounds that you're adding a text object to. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this, and we'll be working with Adobe Photoshop. So I'm going to be going into Adobe Photoshop and creating a new document of 1280 by 720, and it's going to be a white canvas. You guys can use this on your existing projects, on your text objects inside of those. But I'm going to head over and I'm going to create my text. I'm using the size of 350, the font is mullet, and I'm just going to begin by adding some effects to it of a stroke, bevel and emboss, and a drop shadow. In the drop shadow, I'm going to go ahead and increase the distance a tad and the size. I'm going to go back to bevel and emboss, and I'm going to increase the depth and then the soften. I'm going to increase to about 5. And I'm going to leave stroke the same. Now I'm going to click on the background layer and create a new layer above that. I'm going to go to my brush tool and I'm going to create and I'm going to select one of the default uh, circle brushes. I'm going to I'm going to change the size to about 15 and I'm going to keep the hardness at 100% and hit enter. Now what we're going to be doing is creating a dripping lines from the bottom and then after that we're going to create a bubble effect at the bottom which kind of makes it look more realistic. So begin by clicking once and holding shift and dragging down. Move somewhere else. Click, hold shift and drag down. Move somewhere else again. And we're going to do this for three different sizes of brushes and that's going to just going to add some variation to the text. So after you get those after you get it to what you want you're gonna go back to your brush panel and I suggest dropping it down by five pixels each time so I'm gonna go from 15 to 10 and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna click hold shift and drag down click hold shift drag down click hold shift drag down click and you get the whole point so after you do that I'm gonna do it one more time I'm gonna drop it down by five pixels and the size is gonna be five now and I'm going to do the same process. Click, hold shift, and drag down. Click. Now we're just working with the dripping text. Uh, it does kind of look overdone, but actually I do think it looks pretty good. So now I'm just going to go back to my brush, and I'm going to go back to size 15. And then I'm going to add 3 to it, so 18. And now we're going to create the bubble effect at the bottom. So I'm going to go to the bottom of the size 15 strokes and click once and I'm going to do that for all of them. And this is going to create that bubble effect that you'll see in real life. When you see it, uh, rain or something sliding down a window, there will always be like a little lead bubble, I guess it looks like. So, we're just going to create little bubbles at the end of all of these. And then go drop it down by 5 pixels, so it's going to be at 13. I'm going to do that again. gonna find the right one so I'm gonna go back to my panel again and change it to 8 and I'm gonna make those have a little bubble at the bottom Okay, now that we got that, I'm going to head to my layer options, add a bevel and emboss, increase the depth a bit, and then the softness, and that kind of adds a nice little gloss to it. And now we have our dripping text effect. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, merge and rasterize both layers together. And now if I go back to my pointer tool, here we go, I got my dripping text. And like I said in the beginning of the tutorial, it looks best on anything that has to do with blood. So if you have a background that has anything to do with, or has blood on it, this is a great effect. So I'm just going to go ahead and close out this tutorial. Thanks guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you haven't. And if you guys would like to see some more tutorials or have any ideas for them, just leave me a comment down below. Um, in the meantime, keep subscribe or keep liking and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. I'm get I'm starting to get a nice little fan base now. So stay tuned to all my videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Addicting Arts out.